Okay, so we'll go with additional retirement in today's session. Let's go with additional benefit plan first. So standard requirements. So which plan will select? So to make it simple, additional benefit plans we will include in the scope. So these many coverage types we have, sir. Okay, retire. And uh, additional, just, just uh, collapsing, uncollapsing all. Right. So these many coverage steps we have, and we are now exclusively spending on health savings are exclusive for USA. Remaining healthcare, insurance, retirement, addition may require globally for all the countries. And when we have to choose additional benefit plan is, if the customer is giving a plan, is asking you to configure a benefit plan, and you have noticed none of the coverage types won't match with that, then only please choose additional benefit plan. What does it mean? No, 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 none of the coverage types will meet. Example, like uh, pet maintenance, uh, metro train ticket, gym membership, car parking, cafeteria allowance. Uh, those, these are all falls under additional benefit plan. Okay, so you can configure additional any plan as an additional benefit plan. This is more flexibility. We have more flexible on this additional benefit plans. Okay, we will take uh, an example gym membership. Assume the customer has a gear requirement. The customer is providing gym membership for all their employees. Customer is providing gym membership for all the USA salaried employees around $100 per month. Okay, $100 per month. So how to create that benefit plan? Remember only employer contribution, there is no employee contribution and it's a flat rate. Okay, so Let's see how to create that. Access the task, maintain, benefit, coverage types. Navigate to additional benefit coverage types. The here, why I am choosing additional benefit coverage types for uh, gym membership because it's not a it's not a health insurance it's not like a uh, what you call health care coverage it's additional benefit provided by the employee to their employers uh, not to their employers to be fit so select the add row oh gym membership is already there but still go with amd sorry display order one name amd gym Okay, so do you have any coverage targets like employee or dependents also eligible for benefit? I mean, this membership, some employers may give for family, uh, for entire family, there is a member, gym membership. If there is a case, select coverage target so that you also require to include employee, spouse, etc., similar to our healthcare one okay so as I assume this requirement is straightforward only employees are eligible so here you have a plan behavior option amounts this plan behavior is percentage or rates what is the difference here is amounts means you will get an option min and maximum percentages means you will also get an option called min and maximum rate means a fixed amount okay it's a fixed amount you have to enter so you have to ask your customers is this amount is floating for example so you're going to give them gym membership for management employees hundred dollars executive employees two hundred dollars then you require to enter minimum and maximum or percentages minimum percentages maximum percentages on total base pack salary or a fixed rate across all the employees standard everyone is for hundred US dollars then we can select rates okay and then uh, gym membership any health related okay weights are there <laughs> so let's go with this option 
Okay, and then so only one election. Is it a mandatory to select employee has to choose mandatory? Then you select when you select master coverage means it is automatic plan, auto enrolled plan. Okay. okay, so these are standard. Only one election means, for example, I created four plans or three plans on the same coverage type. I am allowing to select only one, not all the three plans, not all the two plans. Which means if I select this option, which means I am creating more than one benefit plan on the same coverage and I need to write a cross dependency policy as well. Okay, sir. But since we are going with only one coverage type, one benefit plan, so no need to select, unselect. So we have to ask these questions to our customer. Okay. So must have coverage because these are dependencies. If you select this checkbox, which means you are creating more than one benefit plan on the same coverage type and you are allowing the employee to select only one. How to control that with the help of cross dependence policy? Similarly, when you select must have coverage, which means it's a mandatory plan, employee has or employee has to choose this plan. So what, what does it mean when you select this checkbox? Which means you the plan must be auto enrolled. At plan level, you have to select auto enrolled. Okay. So display employee cost. Some employees may be interested in gym, some employees may not be interested. So it's up to employee interest. So unselected. Employee cost, employer cost, assume only employer is contributing, not employee not contributing. There's nothing, no need to select the checkbox as well. So you know this one. So would you like to uh, allow the employee to choose this plan from the plan year end date onwards, which means next month, first date, next year, first month onwards, when you can select this plan, checkbox. Cobra, we had to cover, okay? We, we um, This is our last topic to cover. Don't worry, I will explain in detail. But let me explain. Cobra eligible means nothing. Whenever the checkbox, what happened is Cobra is a business process, Consolidated Omnibus Budget Reconciliation Act. If any uh, unfold, what do you call any any uncertainty employees in any uncertain condition lost the job employee death and you want to carry forward these benefits to employ other dependents at the time of termination of the employee you have an option to still the plan will be available for the employees okay this end to end i will cover right okay proceeding okay Right. The next one is coverage type we have ready. Then provider, we are we know multiple providers we created, so we are going to use the same existing. So hence and directly go ahead and create the plan. Create benefit plan. Effective date, let's say one one two zero twenty-two. Provider, I'm selecting gym membership. Plan type. Retirement. Ah, uh, sorry. No additional. Additional. Yeah. Okay. But the... Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. Step here. The membership. Okay. Benefit plan name. So let already I give AMD gym membership. So I'm not giving any plan name, which means. It will pick up the name from provider and cover as type ABN AMRO AMD gym membership. So I'm not giving a plan name here. The description if you would like to give all USA salary employees eligible for this plan. This is an idea. If anyone would like to edit this plan, they can go through this. No URL. There is no group policy number. If it is GPN number is available, customer is provided, you can enter what are the number they have given here for reference only. Participating benefit group, USSR rate. Active US employees in USA salaried. Worker plan eligibility, which is additional criteria. So when it will when it will work, if you are giving this plan only for salaried employees who is working in Chicago location, then you require to get a worker plan eligibility Chicago. Active employees in USA salaried and employees must be full time employees, not part time employees. Then you must select 
full time employee the worker plan eligibility which means you are not allowing part time employees another example active employees in us salary and employee must be employee not contingent the new required to get a worker plan eligibility for on employee type okay so is this a pre tax or a post tax is a flag in fact here nothing uh, is not going to play any key role but payroll is going to be important one okay let's say it's a post tax uh, uh, would you like to mandate this plan to all employees yes then you select auto enroll uh, are you maintaining this amounts in any external system not in work day and you are bringing that uh, amounts to the work day through an integration then you can select this check box which means you are not maintaining the amounts in work day. But sometimes what happen a customer may already have certain benefits in some people soft application certain benefits with directly with the provider and very recently they're going to work day and instead of bringing the data immediately to the work day they want to still continue with the provider and bring the amount through integrations we are into such scenario you can go with individual rates but remember once you select this individual rates if you assign this plan to any employee later you brought this amounts into work you are maintaining this amount in work day and you trying to unselect it work day doesn't let you allow to do that so especially when you working on use individual rates we should be very clear here okay and then currency so currency will be by default usd since we are trading for an us employee so currency i have selected as usd one thing i want to highlight again i'm explain the same individual rates sir remember this is applicable if you are maintaining this amounts or cost in some external system or with the vendor okay, okay. sometimes for example let's say i'm going customer is going go live for benefits in their year of 2022 but the contract with the customer on external vendor they have contract till 2023 so what they will decide okay let's continue with the vendor employees will log into the vendor application they will maintain the amounts there but we will display the values in work day then we need an integration expert to bring those amounts from vendor system to the integration sorry work day only challenge here is by any chance you select this amounts you can have an option to override that is fine later when they want to maintain the amounts in work day in 2024 they want to maintain the amounts in work day remember you cannot uncheck this one at all once you select and assign the plan to one single employee as well work day doesn't let you allow to do this only option is inactivate this plan create a new plan and maintain the amounts in work day all right so reset individual rates on plan year begin date if you select then only it will be active and further if you select this okay so currently assume we are maintaining amounts in work dates okay currency usd frequency i am selecting monthly depends on the customer requirement semi monthly etc so earning and deduction we discussed already if you are creating a in house payroll for canada usa uk france you are able to get an earning or if you are main processing the payroll with the adp or third party vendor You can you can you can use the task called maintain external payroll earnings or deductions. So benefit groups since we are active active employees in US, same will be available here. So select and since we have selected amount, right, sir? Uh, when we when we are giving a plan, now we have an option called amounts here, minimum, maximum amounts, and this is the. directly employer one assume employee no need to pay any amount completely employee is paying and it's a taxable cost it's not a pre tax so i'm going to give it as um, flat 100 us dollars for everyone so here we do have a concept called benefit credits so so how workday will consider for example my employer has given um let's say $1000 per annum for insurance sorry not 1000 let's say uh, okay 1000 us dollars 100 dollars per month 1000 us dollars per annum i have not claimed at all because i'm healthy i didn't claim at all next year whenever they uh, um, what you call 
uh, same incident they will extend uh, yeah same is whenever they extend since i have not claimed any amount i may get some benefits credits it will reduce my cost if applicable this is applicable only if the employee also contributed to make it simple um, so we have car insurance right yes so let's say car insurance is per annum thousand dollars and you have not claimed any um, any amount because you drive for driven properly nothing you have claimed from your uh, provider next year whenever you are going to extend it or uh, extend the uh, car insurance for next year since you, you have not claimed any amount they will give some discount to you correct a 10 percent 21 discount they will give you there yeah. is nothing but credit here also if the employee is not uh, claimed any amount employee also some certain credits but this is applicable if employee is contributing we will discuss this interesting topic okay okay saving this record now the next further setup in order to ascend the plan we need to create an event enrollment event rules and the plan year definition and testing so quickly i will do that i'll create a separate benefit event event is nothing but a reason so let me call it as amd gym membership so so you know right sir instead of event date you are you want to give a clear picture to the employee what does it mean you are gym membership starting so instead of event date i'm overriding so that you'll get an idea what are selectable so that employee is able to select this plan and i'm restricted to country usa The reason why I'm giving AMD here is it's easy to identify for us. In the real time, we are not going to give any prefix. That's a, as you mentioned, this can be, uh, as you mentioned, new hire, change job, termination, date of birth, sorry, uh, birth or adoption, etc. Yeah. So normally I am giving the reason is uh, just to, whenever you're searching the event, right, it's easy to. And coming to marriage, new hire, those are already available in the system. So, it leads to confusions. So that's all the reasons. Okay. Mm. Remember, normally, as you mentioned, correct, will be only the uh, reasons. Okay. It's just a second or nine. Okay, so let's say employee worker selectable even date field label. Uh, even date field label. Um, yeah, if so, if you're not giving any data, what happens is it will display on even date. So to make it more easy to understand towards the uh, end user, so what we can give your 
in membership standing. Maybe in real time, we are not going to give the same answer just for our understanding. Nothing. Okay, worker selectable. Would you like to route this to benefit partner? I mean, benefit partner approvals, as such as required, based on that, you have to configure the BP. So you can select. You can BP. I will explain this. I'm referring to country USA. Days to enroll based on the event date. That's the 10 days from the initiation date. So still we have few more options. These will be covered under passive event and the business processes. Don't worry about that. Okay. Next step is enrollment event rule. Maintain benefit enrollment event rule. Edit enrollment event rule. Enter the rule name. Find the arrow button. Event type is AMD benefit event just now we created. See membership. Add row button. The no waiting period. Waiting period is some plans might be employee has to complete six months of service or one year of service. Then you can maintain here. For example, I will want to give the gym membership only if the employee cover completed probation period. I can give six months before the employee not supposed to enroll here into this. So what happens? Um, it will check the employee high date. If the employee high date is greater than or equal to as of date, then only this is available. Or else, this plan no longer available for a worker to assign. Okay. So by any chance, if you get waiting periods further, you want to ignore the waiting periods, you can select the checkbox. So when do you want to cover cover it? Just a second, just a second. Okay, coverage begin date means from when this employee is eligible for this plan on the event date. Whenever I send the plan on the event date, from when this deduction should start from the employee on coverage begin date, which means that day one employee has this plan. From the date onward, the direction should, should begin. But enough, there is no action on this. Okay. And then moving on to the coverage rule. MDG membership. Add row button. Coverage type. Gym membership. All our benefit plan changes can select any. We will walk through all these options sir, in one separate session as exclusive for enrollment event rules. But now I'm selecting standard values. You can select any plan. So no dependents are eligible. Hence, we no need to define this field. Please ignore. So defaulting rules. 
priority coverage standard one will select here default current direction priority coverage so we also have to talk about all these options in during enrollment even tool class okay okay then uh, the next step plan your definition so we already created one i'm going to edit the same so access the task edit oh. edit strange Edit benefit plan your definition. Such for AMD. Okay. So this additional benefit plan. So select an additional benefit plan. Add row AMD team membership. Add it. Okay. Now let's proceed to test this plan. So I'll go to the standard Logan McNeil. Logan McNeil. So we'll proceed for testing. So the actions. So before before going to ascend to this worker, if I want to know whether is she eligible for this plan or not, so we can also uh, see that by searching benefits, view benefits eligibility, or eligible to rule results. Either way. When I select this option, I, have, I will go navigate to my benefit plan your definition here. This is our benefit plan your definition, and I'm trying to assign the plan called gym membership. I will see whether this plan is available here or not. If it is available, which means this person whom we are assigning, she is eligible for this plan. It's kind of a simple test before assigning, and that's the first time when you create a plan. Okay, now let's proceed to assign this plan. Logan McNeil benefits change benefits so G membership effective date let's say first of March since we get it last week i'll select seventh and also one more thing we need to sell we need to see this should be available okay this should be available then only the employee if you're not able to see this one either you're configured we have not configured correctly or the employee is not eligible either of the thing and uh, i have overridden the event to your gym membership start date okay, okay? and it is this from 10 days we have already entered submission so that's why from the day onwards 10 days Submit. Let's go to the employee, Logan McNeil, our oh, band partner. Hmm. No security group is available here to take an action. It's okay, I'll reassign it. Reassign.
So I'll push this to Logan right now manually. Okay. Start proxy. Switch to Logan McNeil account. Inbox. Approve. Let's see what is an issue. This is strange. Okay. Let's see. Deny. I might be thinking this person might be some in progress transactions. Oh, deny also not allowed. This is strange. Okay, cancel. Let's see. Might be she already has some in progress transactions. So we will have to close or cancel. There are so many are in progress, sir. Let's cancel all the events. Okay, benefits. Hmm. What else she has? There are so this is ours, no problem. This is there are still some more. Oh my god. Okay. So let's cancel those all the events. Eh? But when you're working on the real time environment, so normally it won't allow us to even submit it, last, it will say revise. But this tenant has some uh, raw data where we are, we we can see this still allowing us.
Alright, I'm started. And then we have not assigned two times. Okay, let me cancel both again. Submit. I can see only last step, but we'll refresh and see. Okay. Oh my God, there are so many, few more. Yes, sir. Okay. So let's do the cancel that circuit. Uh, what is this? Okay, now let's proceed again. Control select by default standard hundred sir. Mm -hmm. Confirm. Enter number that you will contribute to this plan. We have not given. Oh, I should enter zero on the plan. Sorry, zero, so that that will be default. Let's go to the profile. Employer contribution, hundred dollars. <laughs> 